Is YouTuber Nikki DiMartino thinking about leaving Los Angeles and YouTube altogether? We'll tell you what's going on with her and talk about Lily Singh's big announcement on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, you heard me right, Jimmy Fallon. I'm Yeska, and you're watching The Daily Report. One of our favorite YouTubers, Nikki DiMartino, started a new series a few weeks ago about swapping lives with a subscriber. In the first video, the lucky subscriber, Holly, was given the royal treatment. She gets to hang out with Nikki, she gets a makeover, she gets to go to a fancy Teen Vogue party. You know, the dream. The dream of an influenza. In the following video, Nikki has to go back to college. In the video, Nikki talks about how she dropped out of college in her junior year because her YouTube career was ramping up and she felt like she was missing out on opportunities because of classes. She said, I just remember like sitting in class thinking like, oh, I just want that life in LA. I wanna do YouTube every day, this sucks. Which brings us to the final video in the series. Yesterday, Nikki posted a new video called I Feel Like I Don't Fit In. She opens up in the video stating that she's not wearing any makeup because she's been crying. She talked about how the series has definitely changed as they were filming it. And now she's back in Pennsylvania because there's a lot going on through her mind about LA. She said, I moved a year ago to LA and I moved to LA because I wanted to figure out who I was without my twin sister. I thought I needed to be in LA to be someone. And I thought in order to be anyone without my sister, I had to do it in LA. Then I realized in LA, I lack a lot of things. I have this theory that wherever you're happiest is where you thrive. I'm not sure if I fit in. She goes on to say that the third part of the life swap turns into a video about where her thoughts were right now regarding YouTube, LA, and living at home. She tells her fans, I'm confused and don't know what I'm going to be doing as far as where I'm living. But all I know is home is home. In the rest of the video, we see Nikki hang out with Holly at college. She's clearly having a blast with Holly's friends, going to work at a radio station with her, and hanging out on rooftops. She talks about how she feels like she fits in more at college than she does with the people who do YouTube like her. She tells Holly, I'm not completely changed by the industry, so it's hard for me to fit in. I'm completely out of my shell here. I feel like in LA, I climb in my shell. After she posted the video, she tweeted about how reading the comments have already felt like a weight has been lifted. Nothing but love for Nikki here as she tries to figure out her life. Same girl, same. Best of luck on this journey. Another journey worth following is the rising fame of Lily Singh, hell yeah. We know and love Superwoman and have been watching her for like years. And she recently started a production company. That's not even the most exciting thing she's doing this year. She went on to Jimmy Fallon yesterday to make a huge announcement. Because yeah, that's where Lily is right now. Making announcements on Jimmy Fallon. Star level, man, star level. The announcement was Lily's getting her own late night talk show on NBC. The show is called A Little Late with Lily Singh. She describes it a little bit like her YouTube channel, but with more than three staff members. She said, I'm so excited because I truly get to create a show from scratch. I get to make it inclusive. I get to create comedy segments and interview people and really create something I believe in and I'm so honored and humbled. On the show, she thanked the women in the late night space who came before her and who have paved the way and now she will be the only woman with a late night talk show on a broadcast network. Yes! She is replacing Carson Daly, which is ending after 17 years. And she's going to be on at 1.30 a.m. after Jimmy and Seth Meyers. When Lily asked Jimmy for any advice on hosting, he said to her, first of all, never get sick, but also always be herself. And we know that won't be a problem for Lily because even the press release was so Superwoman. Released on Thursday announcing the show, Lily wrote, an Indian Canadian woman with her own late night show? Now that's a dream come true. I'm thrilled to bring it to life on NBC and hope my parents consider this as exciting as a grandchild. After Jimmy Fallon aired, she tweeted the announcement along with a photo that she had taken with Jimmy and Seth. And after all the outpouring support from fans and stars like Kehlani, the Rock and Nick Jonas, she tweeted, my heart is so incredibly full. Thank you so much for all the love and positive energy. I'm speechless, I'm overwhelmed, and I need to sleep to process all this. More thank yous to come tomorrow. We are 
so freaking excited for Superwoman and we cannot wait to see her on their new show, which will be premiering in the fall. I finally have an excuse to stay up until 1.30, probably later. But now I wanna hear what you guys think. Who would you like to see be a guest on A Little Late with Lily Singh? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this new channel and click that notification bell if you wanna find out all the daily report goodness. Anyway, I'm Yaska. bye.